Hi, I'm Christian, and in this video review, I'm going to show you around the new EPC, which is the S101. Now, the original E was launched about 12 months ago, that was the 701, uh, it came in at about £200. Now, this one is actually £450 uh, recommended uh, retail price, so obviously a big price jump there. You'd probably ex be expecting it to go the other way and actually be getting cheaper. But this really is a new breed of uh, netbook, as they've become commonly called, um, and it really shows you how far they've come. Um, and everything about this design is, is quite swish, uh, and it's not the plasticky feel which uh, was associated with the original E. First thing you notice is, the, is actually the colour. This is actually the brown or mocker, as they, they call it. It uh, makes the E stand out from uh, other netbooks in the crowd. They're usually black or white. Um, and just to open it up for you, The first thing you notice is it's actually a true widescreen, um, which is actually why this one is actually slightly longer, probably about two centimetres longer than other netbooks. Um, so it's 16.9 is the aspect ratio, and when we turn it on in a moment, we'll show you how that looks. Um, TFT screen, as you expect, built-in web camera, and it's a brush metal finish uh, design, and that is true for the touchpad as well. So on the outside, uh, what you'll notice is there's no DVD drive, which has uh, become common now with networks. It simply relies on USB, uh, and there are three of those ports. One here alongside the, the headphone and mic jacks, and on the other side, uh, there are two. At the back of the PC, there's a DVI output, Ethernet, uh, and a Kensington lock. Now, it weighs about a kilogram, so that's pretty light. Uh, and on the back it's a four cell uh, battery which uh, actually undoes pretty easily and that's where the solid state drive fits. And this is one of the first netbooks to really sort of sell the solid state drive and this is really what you would want this for. This particular model comes with the 20 gigabytes uh, and runs with the 1.6 Atom processor. Now that's the same processor that was in the previous E's, the 901's, but with the SSD, it really makes Windows XP run very well. And what you do get with this is something called the e-storage. Now, this is something that's new. It's actually an online facility. Uh, and you also get 20 gigabytes to help upload your files there to get more space. So now we've turned the machine on. Uh, we're looking at the PC Answers website. We're actually using it wireless. Um, and it comes in BG and the latest N varieties. So all, all types of wireless are catered for. We're also running it off the battery, um, and we can actually get about five hours out of this particular E, which is very good. Uh, most laptops can get sort of between, between four and five, uh, so we're quite happy with that. Um, and as you'll notice on the front of the uh, E, this is the actual power switch, uh, and on the other side is one that looks very similar, but that's actually the power saving mode. So this is uh, Internet Explorer, we're just going to minimise that, and I'm just going to show you the E storage. Uh, and you get 20 gigabytes, as I said before. It's a simple program to use. It lives on the desktop uh, by default. And you simply drag and drop uh, files into particular folders, um, and you can access them online, download them to anywhere else, or share them with friends. And I'll just show you how you do that. Uh, so here we are. I want to click e-internet storage. And this will open up my documents, my music, my pictures, etc. It's just like what you get in Windows XP, your default uh, media file folders. So to upload a file, we just want to click uh, that one there and go into the e-storage facility. Now, as I said before, you do get 20 gigabytes, but we do find it to be quite slow uploading, but that's par for the course with online facilities. So here we are. This is the... We need to log in, and we've, we've selected before to remember this uh, on this computer, so it's already saved our password. And here we are. That's our, that's our username. It shows you that uh, we're signed in there. And you just get a bunch of folders, uh, my music, uh, sharing with colleagues, uh, my documents, etc. Now this directly refers to the ones actually on your E, which are these uh, ones I said before. So if you just open this one, the My Music, you'll see that we've, we've put an MP3 file in there. And if we go back to this online folder, you'll see the, the little green tick. And if we click that, that'll actually show you that we've successfully uploaded that before. If we click the file, you get some more detail. Uh, you get a little download icon there, so that means you can just click on that uh, the little play icon there. That'll download it to anywhere else. And here you can actually share the file. You can actually open a link or even email that link uh, to a friend so they can open that 
on their machine. You get to also get a shared files folder, and as I've chosen to share that one, it shows up, but uh, it'll just show ones that you have selected to have shared, and it's just like uh, with Windows XP or Vista, uh, any particular files you want to mark as shared, you can do so, and they'll live in that folder. And there's also a recently uploaded, which will just show you a, a quick list of those. So that's e-online storage. It, it's pretty simple. It does take quite a, lot, a while to upload. If you're uploading something like an MP3, it probably takes about 10 minutes per, per track, so that is quite a long time. But it is a free service for 18 months, I think, uh, is, is what you get with the new machine. Uh, and as I said, it's uh, 20 gigabytes. So, which is the same as the, the drive it comes with. So there we are, that's the uh, new E, the S101, and you can read the full review in the magazine.